Name is written in the book of life. You are secured. But this is your life. You have lived a simple life. You have been developed in a broken family. Maybe. You hate your father for leaving you and going away. Or sometimes vice versa. You hate your teachers. You, are, you don't fit anywhere. You are like me. You are like me who has said, like, I will tell you, you become nobody. You are famous not in good things but in bad things. You've got a very, I'm mean like a miraculous hand which is called the long hands. All of a sudden you have a stretchable hands and the stretchable hand always leads you to pocket to <laughs> You have evil things. And nobody trusts you. Nobody wants to be friends with you. Every time your neighbor, you go to your neighbor's house, you the, you, which is your friend's house, the father and mother goes, Hey! Could they also... Uh, first thing has come to our house, please! Lock the door, lock the... Safe, nicely Please read Ephesians 5, verse 6. That he might sanctify. That he might, the word sanctify means cleanse. Okay? That he might sanctify. And cleanse it with the washing of water. Washing of the water. By the word. By not prayer. Many people pray. God change my life. Change my life. No, no, no. By the word. Do what is right, and then let you have success. Now watch. So every day, beginning from tomorrow, you will read three chapters a day. You did not understand anything, but you read the word. If you are a beginner, I'll let me encourage you to read from Matthew. Because if you read from Genesis, you will become Genesis. <laughs> It's, it's, uh, it, 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 it takes time, it takes time, alright? <laughs> so by the washing of the water through the word, <laughs> so Monday goes by, <laughs> Christian world goes by, <laughs> one week goes by, <laughs> once upon a time, <laughs> even though you are a missionary, <laughs> you shop in your wife, <laughs> because your wife gives you burnt by a <laughs> She gives you burnt off him. <laughs> so you're so upset with that. <laughs> and so you shout at her. <laughs> that, but like what happens is that <laughs> that morning you happen to read the word. <laughs> Husband love your wife. And then you're convicted by the word. <laughs> oh, I just shouted to my wife. <laughs> oh, give me bird offering. <laughs> I should not be shouting. But like the day after three weeks, <laughs> because she gave you bird food. <laughs> and like uh, you said, ha! Ah! And you were about to shout, ha! Ah! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you look at ha! You look at ha! And like you turn, ha! Because the word of God places us. It's been now one year. You are slowly changing. Your neighbors are also looking at you. And like, this guy does not cheat anymore. Does not take anymore. In fact, he's a great helper. You are becoming more loving. You are becoming more gentle. And more kind to your friends. Your teachers are looking at you. And they are asking you. Hey, where did you go? What happened to you? Last year you got zero. But this year you got 50. What are you eating? (laughs) 
Your life is now changing. It's been now three years. And now it's going four years. And all of a sudden, the word of God has now captured you. Bound you, and now you are under the shackle of the word of God. And whatever the word of God says, you want to be obedient to the word. Amen. 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 No, 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 no. Don't clap your hands. Just give me money. It took me years. I didn't happen to change overnight. I was not into drugs or alcohol, things like that. I did, I did all those things, but like, I was not really into it. But I was a womanizer. In my theological graduation, my classmates, who knows me very, very well, hey, you've been there together for four years, man. So they knew me very well. And it is our last week in our college to be graduated and go to our Everybody was given a name. Some of my friends named you were given a Billy Graham. And yes, they were exactly like Billy Graham. Big souls with every Sunday they go, twist the word, bring someone to the Lord. Some people, they look like pastors only. Just pure pastor. Oh, the long pastor. White shirt. <laughs> Former pants. Oh, you <laughs> Just pastor. <laughs> Even though no church has invited them, he's already a pastor. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> so that person's name was given the future pastor. And like, yeah, yeah, he's a pastor, man. <laughs> so everybody were given wonderful names. I also wanted to see what kind of name my pastor has given to me. So my name came. I don't know. Dash. Kadash. Lady Kira. Lady Kira. Lady Kira. Casanova. 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 Kill the ladies, man. Kill the ladies. She's about Pernyam Eki Kente. In one week, I'm, I'm graduating from theology. She's still graduating from school uh, theology. That was in the year 1999. One day in the year 2012, I was invited to the uh, do Jorat because I studied in Eastern Theology College in Jorat. And uh, Jorat is full of my people, a lot of people. 
And I was invited to the church, but like I didn't want to go because I didn't have a good reputation. But my boy was telling me, hey, you need to go, man. You need to go. So anyway, I said, let me go. So I was preaching the church. All my lectures are there. <laughs> you know me. Like this one. And I was preaching. And most of my lectures were looking at me and listening to me. And I'm thinking in my heart, in the middle of my preaching, I know why you're looking at me. <laughs> you know, like, that girl, that girl, I kill her, I know. And you're thinking that you're judging me like that. <laughs> you know, like, you're so I just preached the word. And I took the train from Johar to back to Johar. As I was traveling to now the train, my the pastor called me up. Hey Aaron, that lecture just left my house. And this is what he said. All the students that we taught. We will bring good names to our college. Has brought only disappointments. But the students who talk will become nobodies. Are coming and teaching us today. The word of God. You will become a living water. If only you honor the word. The word of God will lift you up. The word of God will exalt you. Even though you don't ask for it, the word of God will do it for you. It's up to you. I don't know in what kind of situation you are in right now. That you can be changed. Money, no problem. Because everything is said in the word. It's given us the power to make wealth. That's what the Bible says. I never stretch up my hands to anyone. The only thing is that I change my position of stretching out. Many of us when we stretch up our hands to people, it's like this, right? Just lift your arm to the high. And the moment you lift up your hands to the Lord, you feel your empty hands. Whatever your needs are. We don't have to be so worried about our finances. Some of you are sitting here with burdens. I want to tell you something. Go into the word. Find the rema from the word. That means the revelation from the word. And if you've got the revelation from the word, anything is solved. So easy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. How many of you want to do that? I want to tell you something. It's never easy. It doesn't just happen overnight. But if you can, be consistent in your words. I want to tell you. Your life will change. All of you sitting here, you will have a ministry. You will not be a missionary today. Maybe just a congregation sitting here listening to the word but as you begin to be edited to the word oh you will have a ministry now I want to close it with what we read last night in those days the word of God was rare because the word of God the word of God was rare. There was no vision at all. 
when someone in the verse 18 it says he did not allow the word of God to he carried the word that means these eight steps he carried those eight things you never find in the scripture someone praying while someone dying Lord make me famous Lord open doors for me he did only the eight things and the word did the rest for him everybody began to recognize I really like the word recognize but he was an attested prophet from then to Beersheba you know what? Today is a new day. It's where God is birthing visions in this church. Some of you have come here empty. Yes, some of you have come here burn out and exhausted. But like the way I said last night, you will be refreshed. But I don't want to be refreshed. I like to go with a vision. A vision of something. A very different thing. Before I came here today, after my wife has shared what she's going to be sharing in our church, as she was praying for me, she, she sends in, my, in her spirit that my husband will come with a new understanding from Shalom. But she told me only this morning. But yesterday, as we were having a conversation in the restaurant, I had a fresh understanding. You know what? In such kind of a gathering, the, there is an anointing. The things that you did not understand before. When you come to this church, a new understanding just comes. Things that you never understood before, they just become so simple. So easy. That's what happens to me. I truly believe it is just beginning. Shall we all pray? Shall we all ask the Lord to give us a new understanding of the Word of God? That you and I will become addicted to the Word. That we will be addicted to the Word. That our lives will be transformed. We don't want to live the same life all over again. But we want to live a different life. Let's all pray today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.